Good morning and welcome back. And we have another bow review and long time no bow from him, from Istvan Schimmeister in Hungary. He sent me two new bows and we will obviously review them. This is how it comes and I was wondering, bear paw box, I was like, hmm? But no, of course, bear paw never sent me anything for review. Their products are so good they don't need a reviewer. Or they review them by themselves, so I don't know. This is bear paw. So, what you get is this. And we get the two bows. Nice. Nothing else? Good. So, this is the complete new Hungarian one. We will review the next time. And this one we do today. This is the Tatar bow. Crimean Tatar. Let's see if we can unbox it some kind of. Oh, nice leaf material like jeans. Nice. Packed. Nice. And even the Tatar bow is a little redefined, so he made something new. It's a nice sturdy sleeve. Nice packed as we know it. And then you get, oh, 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 oh. as we know it from Schimeister, his signature. Nice. Oops, the string came off. We had a string holder. Ooh, so so Ooh, the leather handle. Look at this. So, the Crimean Tatar bow by Istvan Schimeister. It's a laminated bow, has a length of 130 centimeters. You can have this bow from 30 to 50 pounds. And the max draw of this bow is 32 inches. What is new? <coughs> uh, he made a slightly modified grip, so it's now a bit more rounded, more curved on the back. Feels directly good, I guess. Good for cutter. It's a 30 inch. At 30 inches, this bow has 35 pounds. And this is the thing when you order from Istvan Schimeister, you really need to tell him your max draw you want to do. And the poundage, because he is not making the poundage then at 28 inches, he makes it to the max draw or to your draw. And this one is at 30 inches, 35. Shoot to 32, we will see. So what is different? The handle, slightly redesigned, and he has a bit more overall pretension, as he calls it, in the limbs. So we get a little more, a bit more, you know, kick out of it. Looks really good. And we have these more string paddies here. Nice. inches from knock to knock. If you put it here with the just above the leather handle. 22. Good. So then let's string this pretty one. And of course you can have different wood variations and colors and stuff like this. And the price of this pretty bow. Nice. He makes the series really, this is his signature series. When you see this old Turkish bow, I did a review years ago. It's already like this, so this is, then you know it's a Schimeister bow. Nice, handle feels really good and the bow is very lightweight. And the bow price is 240 euros plus shipping for a laminated bow. Oops. Nothing to complain here. 355, that's fine by me. So, this direction, flexing, in this direction, yeah, a little, but you have these nice string bridges, so it should be fine. I strung it step through method, and the bow is straight. This handle feels good, so it really sits there. Nice, and looks like we have a small knocking point on it there, that's nice. So. Nice. Look, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, and then you feel it a little. But 
We are not here to feel, we're here to shoot. Is this a knocking point? It looks like, huh? Nice. Very nice. I like this handle. And this bow. Wow. Let's show. Handle feels really good and the bow feels very balanced. 400 grain or 420 now. Something like this. Nice. So he doesn't build bows for speed. He does it more for the nice draw and overall. But I think this knocking point should be here, if then. Yep, nice. So it's not a speed monster, but it's a really smooth to draw, smooth to shoot, a bit string twist. You can do your cutter with this bow nice, so these arrows are 330. Yeah, works, same. So we have still a little hing going on, but I guess it will disappear. Oh. For the price, really, really good. Directly 20 meters out of the box. Yo, arrow, arrow pass, huh? Look at this. Nice. See, you get directly, you become directly friends with this bow. Oops, we're talking and shooting. 330, there are 600 spine. Ooh. Now these, they don't really fly anymore. But the other one's just nice, huh? Oh, 28, I mean. Forty-four point nine. Ten and a half pounds in four inches. Actually, not bad. Twenty-eight. And of course, a short bow. Not too aggressive ears. Just there. Twenty-eight. As expected. Is here. Oh, looks good. And thirty-two. Is here, but then it gets really stiff. So 30 seems nice, but oh, 32 is doable too. Will break in a bit more than 32 is not a big deal, but it does 32. Only gets a little stiff at the end for now. <laughs> Pretty look. Typical Schemeister with these tears. <laughs> nice. More string paddy here, and then of course, here you can have different colors very thin, very sleek. Nice dark wood here. Then this leather head rend le leather wrap handle is nice, and you see it's very narrow, has a slightly bump, but it's just a nice description. The transitions are nice made, and here everything is nice and crafted, so there is nothing to complain. The string is nice. The bow is still straight. Nice, 240 euros, really nice. 410 grain, and what did we have for the draw? 44, 45, I think, right? So then you know the grain, but I will write it there. 160. Sixty-six, hundred seventy-one, three hundred thirty grain, hundred eighty-five, 
488 410 in inch really does make a difference 186 so this is roughly what you can expect it's not so slow each one it's nice I like this performance just does very well and this handle is almost good for torque here look at this it torque a little we tried. I hold the bow completely straight at 12 o'clock so you see the curves nice and shoots nice there's no recommendation for grain per pound but 10 is for sure okay. Eight, maybe nine for sure too. So something in this ballpark is fine. And you saw the ball performs just nice. 330. Then you feel it a little in the handle. Ding. With 330, with 400 grain. Totally nothing. Yeah, at least a group over there. 400 grain, 400 spine, just fine. There you have it. A really nice bow. Not too curvy, but we get this very elegant kind and feel of shooting. So it's nothing harsh, nothing rough, nothing raw. It's really very refined and very smooth. So this is really a gentleman bow and I like this handle. I thought it might be a little too narrow, but it's just, especially when you do a little torque or a little katra, works just nice. So you get a bow, string and a sleeve, no documentation, nothing, is four points, forgot already. The handling of this bow, it was very easy to string, the bow is straight, doesn't give you any problems, it's a little wiggly here. But the bow is straight, so it's not a big deal, even for a beginner. Handling, easy, 10. The build, now we need to check. Now we need to check. String bridge is nice, sears are nice, everything is glued nice together, so I don't see any the transitions here are nice, feels good, so even the feel of this is nice and smooth everywhere. Can't find anything. String is nice, center serving is nice, handle wrapping is nice. So for the build quality, 10. The basic feel, this bow feels directly good in your hand. So even if it's a Tatar, a little longer than a Turkish Ottoman, still feels nice in your hand. It's very lightweight and very easy to move. So this handle, the depth of this handle makes it really nice in your hand. See, this is just, just for my hand, just nice. And then you can do 
slightly even over grip it and do your you know slightly torque and it's already enough or you do a proper katra or this handle makes it easy to do katra nice one so like i only don't like uh, no, i don't don't like i only don't know because i forgot to test could you do this yes you could could you do this yeah with a little fiddly it works too so you could even shoot your three finger arrows on your hand style because here it's quite flat so no bump like with an ottoman easy peasy and this thing on the back doesn't distract from this at all nice so we give it basic field turn and now let's see again the draw on the tiller stock it felt a little that on 32 we get stiff let's see again no problem so it only needed a few shots now the bow is ready to go draws 32 in an ease <laughs> that's incredible 10 obviously and shooting experience directly out of the box i felt comfortable with this bow so there was nothing like i need to figure we never measure the brace height no, we didn't measure the brace, I measured it later, but it's kind of like seven inches. But there is nothing written what the brace height should be, so that's why I don't know. And vibration. You feel one, two. One, two, three, it's minor. So it's forget about vibration. You have it in the handle for a little bit but it's not annoying so it's a little there so vibration is a little there might go away after a few shots but for now it's a little there but of course you have here this nice like pickups on the guitar uh, not pickups how do you call this the bridge on the guitar and then the string can oscillate nice and freely obviously so here we get nine points because it's a little vibrating but i'm sure it will go away but the shooting experience overall and you saw it's not so slow even if they're not built for speed. Nice. We end up with uh, 53. And the price value, I don't have to say anything. 240 euros for a laminated bow performing like this and looking like this is absolutely a no-brainer. Look at this pretty bow. It's really nothing to complain. It's, it's totally, if you like this design, if you like his way of doing the sears it's a little different than others do go for it it's a really nice bow for me the string could be a little more in but yeah the, the string groove is deep enough and then you see even here he has this he's filing down the edges that the string runs nice and smooth in full draw so details matter for east one for sure really nice bow so nothing to complain only a little vibration which might settle or you put some of these puffies on it and then it's fine but this bow is really 28 29 30 31 32 then it gets stiff but until then this bow draws really nice now the lower limb is a little out of shape so you it's a little wiggly so you need to pay attention sometimes that the bow is still straight after a few shots here you see this is this motion here you get easily so here you need to take care of it we put one point less on the build for this because it makes your life a little tricky there with 52 didn't see it in the beginning but now i realized so we have this really here you need to pay attention that the bow is sometimes straight so shoot a few times and then simply check are the sears still straight especially when you do cutter or stuff like this so with torque i would maybe be a little careful but a little torque is always fine and cutter is no problem so that's for this thank you very much istvan for sending this bow to me really nice that we finally get something new to see from you really the craftsmanship is really there is nothing to complain really really beautiful and they they work so this is smooth this is mr smooth really nice that's all for you today thank you very much for watching 
catch you in the next one.